Hey, welcome to the show. Today we're doing a division problem requested from one of my subscribers. Claudia requested 17.985 divided by 1.5. This is a doozy, but we're going to do it. And if you'd like to try it on your own, just get a piece of paper, try it on the piece of paper, hit that pause button. And when you're ready to check, with, check it with me, hit that play button. All right, let's go ahead and make this problem a little bit smaller. going to go ahead and put Claudia's picture right over here. And we're going to have to do a little bit of work on this. So the nice thing about working with a whiteboard is I can make this smaller. And then that way I'll have a lot of room to work with. When we work with decimals, um, we can move them around. But what the rule is, if I, whatever I do over here, I have to do the same thing over there. And we want our divisor to have no decimals. All right, so it makes it easier to work with. So it's just like playing that leapfrog game when you were little, that you can kind of, if you make uh, jump right here. You have to do the same thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that decimal and I'm going to move it over here once. I'm going to move the decimal over here once. All right. So let me go ahead and move that decimal over here. So I'm going to move that decimal over here. So I only moved it one space. So over here, now I have to move that decimal over here one space. Just like that. Now you'll see that I have 15 point. There is actually no number it's it's it it's not 15 points you're just going to say 15 so we don't need that decimal right here we just can go ahead and delete that decimal but we need to leave the decimal here now we're all set up to start our division all right let's go ahead and begin here so off to the side i'm just going to write down a couple figures here i'm going to go ahead and put uh, 15 times 2 which would be 30 and then 15 Write that a little bit better for you. 15 times 3, which would be 45. And then 15 times 4, which would be 60. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. How many times can I put 15 into 17? Just one time. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 right here. 1 times 15 is 15. I subtract. So 7 minus 5 equals 2. And then our next step after that is to bring the next number down, which would be the 9. So I just bring it straight down. So I put it right here. And now how many times does 15 go into 29? Uh, it's, it's not 2 because that would be 30. So we still need to stay with just 1. So we're going to put 1 right here. And 1 times 15 equals 15 right here. And then we subtract. So 9 minus 5 equals 4. And then 2 minus 1 equals 1. Now, don't get nervous if you have a double-digit number here because we can't put 15 into 14, so we know we did our subtraction right. But we need to drop the next number. We just stay on course. Drop the next number down, which would be the 8, just like this. All right. And we also have to take that decimal point right there, and we have to put it into our answer. So our next number is going to be on that side of the decimal point. So now we have to think, how many times does 15 go into 148? Well, let's see here. I'm going to try, let's try 9, because if it's 15 times 8, that would be 120. And let's see what 9 is going to be. All right, 15 times 9. So 9 times 5 is 45. Put the 4 up here. And then 9 times 1 is 9 plus the 4 would be 135. All right. So I believe that would be the right answer. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 9 right here. And then 9 times 15 is 135. So go ahead and put 135 right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and subtract. So 8 minus 5. What is 8 minus 5? 5, 6, 7, 8. So it would be 3. And then 4 minus 3, which would be 1. All right, so then our next step is to drop the next number down right here, all the way down here. And so that will be our five right here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and make this problem a little bit smaller. This is quite a big problem, isn't it? How are you doing on your, uh, on your paper there? Did you try this out? And if you like this problem, I'd sure appreciate it if you can hit that like button. That really helps out the show. So if you like doing problems like this, hit that like button down below. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, our next step is how many times can I put 15 into 135? 
Do you see right here? Yeah, it's the nine. That's gonna be awesome. All right, so go ahead and put the nine right here. Nine times 15 is 135. I subtract and I have a zero. If you got the right answer, hit that likey button. Let's try to make the uh, likes all the way to 100 or maybe even 1,000, that would be awesome. But if you got that right, hit that likey button. All right, so again, um, I really appreciate um, all the uh, subscribers. I have a couple of subscribers right here I wanted to just kind of send out a nice thank you to. So, um, Mohammed um, Taman, T-A-M-A-M. -A -M. I apologize if I say uh, the, the names wrong. I'm trying my best. We also have um, Cat Lady. <laughs> I love it. I love the picture of the cat right here. So um, again, I, I, I get some, uh, uh, some, some people saying, you know what, it's difficult. I might be in third grade or I might be in high school or maybe I'm out of college and I just forget my mathematics. And that's okay. If you're not using a particular um, set of mathematics, you, st you, st you forget them. Like when I was taking calculus, I we were doing these awesome formulas, and now when I go back to that, it's like, oh, wow, I, I forgot how to do that. But if I sit down and study it for a while, then I'll get it. So it's just like mathematics or sports or anything. If you don't do it for a while, you tend to forget. Um, just the other day, I was playing piano. I was like, oh, my goodness, I forgot how to do this one song, but I'm, I'm going to learn it again. All right, um, and then I have A-D-I-S-U-S -S family said, uh, quickly, please do it fast. All right, so um, requested a problem. So. Um, I always love looking at the comments. Um, if you have a comment, please leave it down below. If you like this show, hit that likey button, and I'd sure appreciate it hitting that subscribe button. And we also have some other cool channels. We have an outdoor channel there. Um, if you like doing things on the water or in the you know out, outside, check out my outdoor channel. It's a lot of fun. I hope you're going to have a fun day outside and have a great day. Talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.